Hello my friends, it is Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. Three videos this week. Isn't that exciting? I cannot remember the last time I've done three videos in one week. I don't even know if I did that. I did not do that during Vlogmas, so that's a big deal, but I feel like I'm still playing catch up from being gone. And so, yeah, next week we'll start fresh. But today I just have a good old fashioned haul for you. It's all household and home decor. So no clothing or anything like that. Um, but yeah, just a bunch of random stuff that I have picked up or ordered in the past few weeks that I wanted to share with you. Kirkland's, Hobby Lobby, Target, Amazon, I think, and I do have a new rug coming today as well from Ruggable that I want to uh, unbox with you and show you what it looks like. I am a little bit nervous about it, but I ordered a new rug for by our front door finally. So anyways, I think what I'm going to do is just start with Kirkland's and we'll work my way around. It's totally random, so <laughs> hope you're ready. And also another little kind of random disclaimer, anything that I've shared in previous videos or vlogs, I'm not going to reshare it today. For instance, pillows. I don't have any pillows in this haul because I actually just shared those in my bedroom decorate with me video as well as a few other new things in that as well. So I'm not going to be resharing any of those items. So definitely go back if you haven't watched those for even more random things that Crystal has <laughs> picked up. Kirkland's. Let's talk Kirkland. So I actually did not go into the store. My husband was in the area of one. I'm like, oh, could you please do a store pickup for me? And so he did. So big thank you to my hubby for that. And also a thank you to Denise for the gift card from Christmas because I was able to use it towards this purchase. So anyways, I feel like I'm missing something though. Maybe this is everything. I don't know. See, what I do is I will get it home and then I'll start like putting it places and trying it out and then I'll just leave it there and then I'll forget about it, like that I need to actually share it in my video. So I think this is everything. Anyways. No, there's one more thing. I know what it was. It was in my bedroom, that little knot decor. I was like, I know there was like five things that I ordered. So anyways, I'm going to start with this vase. Now this is a just gray, what do they call it? Vase ceramic antique gray and white. I think everything was 15% off at the time, uh, but I decided to go ahead and pick this up. One, it's a good size. It works on a lot of my shelves as well as it's like echoing when I talk by it but it also fits in my black cabinet in our dining room. So just to give a little bit of interest to a shelf, because a lot of my other items that I am putting on these shelves are uh, like a solid color, I don't know. So just to add some interest with this fun pattern, but also you could put greenery in this and it would be super cute as like a table centerpiece or on a side table, something like that. So picked up this, it's pretty big. This next item is so cute and I'm kind of kicking myself that I only grabbed one. I should have I should have known better because the store pickup only or in-store purchase only you cannot order them online, but I picked up or I guess my husband picked up for me one of these little gray plaid storage bins. What do they call it? Mini bin with leather accent gray plaid. I just think I'm a sucker for plaid. First of all, I love all things plaid. I love the gray and it's just so unique. So you have like the black and the burlap and plaid. I actually think I might use this. Well, I can use it a lot of different ways, but I'm thinking I might just use it in our pantry. It fits really cute on one of my shelves and this kind of coordinates with a lot of the baskets and things in there and the plaid just gives a little fun pattern. So yes, I'm kind of decorating my pantry. A little weird, I don't know. Something about them, they're just so cute. So the next item I actually ordered for the twins bathroom. Kirkland's has really pretty like coastal decor right now. And this actually, I guess, could lean towards coastal decor as well, which is kind of what I like to decorate with in the summer. I digress. Anyways, they have a bunch of beautiful like saleable art prints right now. And I saw this, this is a set of two Vintage sailboat art decor, I think. Yeah, sailboat at sea, vintage. These are big. They're bigger than I thought. <laughs> so there they are. It's a set of two. I still have them in the package. 
because they were so big they did not fit in the space that I wanted to put them I was going to hang them in the twins bathroom because we have a blue theme in there and I just loved sailboats for like I don't know for a little boys bathroom I thought that would have been really cute so too big for that space however I did just bring them downstairs to our guest bathroom and the color of these like some of the blue in the background match our guest bathroom so i actually think these are going to go down there so we live right off of the lake and we also have a pond so i do like to add a few coastal items around the house and i think these are super cute for a bathroom so yeah got that oh my gosh the last item from kirkland is definitely my favorite and i recommend this to any of you looking for wall decor i actually almost didn't order this and i got it home hung it on the wall I'm like oh my gosh i'm so glad i decided to get it so this is called the ugh, dreamy landscape there's some abbreviation i'm not sure what it is but it is a big wall decor piece but I really, I think, like it because it has a lot of shades of green that coordinate well with my decor around the house. And then you kind of have like creams, brownish blush color. I wouldn't say blush, but it pulls a little bit. So greens, grays, creams, blues. It is so pretty. And it also has a really pretty wood frame as well. So this is by far my favorite purchase from Kirkland's and I already have the perfect spot for it in mind. And that's everything that I picked up from Kirkland. So I'm going to grab the next grouping. Actually, let me just show you the one Hobby Lobby find. So I have been holding on to Hobby Lobby gift cards since my birthday and then Christmas because I didn't want to buy more Christmas decor with it. So I left my gift cards at home, but now I felt like it was safe to enter the store with them. And I think it must have been last month I bought this like cream planter. Some of you probably remember it. Well, I went back again because I loved that one so much and I wanted to see what other ones they had because I was looking for something for my fiddle leaf tree and I found this one. $33.99. I think that's the everyday price on a lot of their like big planters like this. They don't ever discount them any more than that. But I found this one. This is a really big cream. It has that texture to it. And I love the roundness of it. It is adorable. Now, let me just tell you, I put this in my cart right when I got to the store. And then I roamed, you know, the rest of the store. And I was really like, Crystal, do you do you really love this? Do you need it? And so I made my way back to the pots at the end and I stood there for a while. I'm like, I just need to get it and bring it home and see what it looks like. Worst case, I can always return it. And I'm so glad I did that because I almost did not walk out with it. I'm trying to be a little bit more selective on the items that I am picking up. And yeah, that's a big winner. I'm so excited about that one. And I don't know if I mentioned this, but I will link everything down below that I can from today's video. I should be able to link almost everything. Maybe not the pot from Hobby Lobby, but I will try to look on their website. It's just not as easy to find things on there for the for whatever reason. I I just don't like the Hobby Lobby website to be honest with you. Anyways, let's do some random Amazon. So I've shown you mostly decor now. This is not decor. These are just random things. Some decor. Let's start off with the curtains. So I finally ordered curtains for our dining room. Now, these I had recommended to me. They seem to be fairly popular. I guess, I think some even said that they were like Pottery Barn dupes. So I decided to go for it. I want to say they're about 40 some dollars a panel. So I only ordered two to start because I really wanted to see the color in person and make sure it worked with some of the existing things that I have in there and that I liked it before I ordered more, which I, by the sounds of it, I'm going to do four more panels on my other window. So I'll have to order four more once I get these hung. I wanna see how they look first. But they are, they just came like this. I'll have them linked. There's really no name on it. It just says exclusive fabrics and furnishings. So these are in the color birch and they're like a 
off-white cream. Now I had <laughs> I had a comment, please add color to your dining room with your curtains. I can't, I can't do it. I cannot do colored curtains. They need to be very neutral because I switch out my decor so frequently that I just have to be very neutral when it comes to this. And then I will of course keep them a lot longer as well. So color I can add to the room with my decor. I also am thinking once I hang curtains, we can maybe look at doing a new rug under our table. I just ordered a very cheap one to get us started when we moved in here. And so something with color and pattern is definitely in the works, but that'll probably be down the road. I'm in no hurry. The one we have now works. So yeah, there's the color. And you can you can kind of see the texture. So next week in a vlog, we will hang these up. I think these are 108 inch, so I don't even know if I ordered the right size. I'm kind of a newbie when it comes to these things. And I did also order a curtain rod and curtain rings from Amazon. The rod is not here yet, so I can't hang them up yet. But yeah, I hope I ordered the right ones. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see, but these are just black ones. <laughs> oh my gosh. We'll find out if I know what I'm doing next week when we get them hung up. You ready for the random to begin now? Okay, so these have been in my safe for later for so long. And finally, I decided to just add them to my order. These are just a two pack of white little floating shelves. These are actually for the twins bedroom. And I think these are the ones that have the adhesive on the back so you don't need to put any holes in the wall and then when you want to take them down, which we probably won't, but use a blow dryer to heat it up and it's supposed to come off. I don't know if I trust that. The reviews were decent on it. It looked like quite a few others have purchased them and have had luck. So yeah, it's just a set of two little white shelves for the twins' bedroom. They have bunk beds. And the way it's situated, they don't have a nightstand right by their bed. So if they want a drink of water or their little alarm clocks, which tells them when they should get up. What else? Just random things like tissues when they are sick to have by their bed. They just have to kind of like sleep with them or we'll like a makeshift a little table. So I'm hoping that these will be just like a little ledge for them to set a couple of their essentials. We'll see how that goes. I think they'll work. So they'll kind of be hidden. You probably won't be able to see them from their room, but just a place for them to at least set something. Their glasses even. I mean, they just need somewhere to set things. Okay, another random thing. This has also been in my cart for ages and I was like, you know what? Let's just do it. Don't ask me why, but bamboo drawer dividers for our kitchen. Now I have like silverware organizers in many of the drawers, but I have one drawer that has kind of just become a catch-all. And I didn't really wanna buy another kitchen utensil organizer because we're not gonna store kitchen utensils in there. And it's an awkward size, so yeah. Just some random bamboo drawer organizers for one of our kitchen drawers. At some point, I will show how my kitchen is all organized, but we aren't there yet. We're not even close. Um, but yeah, that'll come down the road as well. Also another random thing. <laughs> that I, I, I wasn't gonna show these, but you know, why not? So last week I did, or you just saw our bedroom decorate with me. Now we have our cell phones that we charge on our nightstands every single night. And my husband has, he likes to like prop up his charging cord with whatever decor I put on his nightstand. Anyways, to keep his cord up from falling off of the nightstand, I bought these little, it's, I think it's a set of eight, but they're just little clips that you stick onto the back of your nightstand. There's a little peely there and then they're magnetic. So the cord goes up through that. So it's going to prevent the cords or the cell phone charger cord from falling to the floor. Yeah, it's a pack of six. So I already put one on his nightstand. Yeah, that was so random, but it's never ideal when you're laying in bed just to fall, about to fall asleep and your charger or your cord falls to the floor and you're like, oh, I'm gonna get up now. 
I also stepped up my game in the measuring cup category. <laughs> so random. But I've been kind of cleaning and decluttering a little bit items that we haven't used or that just need to go. And one thing I needed to replace, I like to have two sets of measuring cups. I love the set I have, but I just need more with all of like the prepping and baking and cooking lately that we've been doing. So I just ordered these. They are just stainless steel measuring cups. They're magnetic actually. But what drew me to these measuring cups is they're like odd sized ones as well. So you aren't just getting like your standard four or five measuring cups, you get seven. So like this is an eighth of a cup, kind of fourth, a third of a cup, half, what is it? Two thirds, three quarter cup and one cup. So yeah, I'm just kind of adding to my baking cabinet with another set of measuring cups. Okay, so this next item I am actually really excited about. It's a K-cup drawer organ or I can't talk, organizer. <laughs> it's one of the bamboo ones, which is what all of our other cabinet organizers or drawer organizers are. But I still need to open this up to show you. I think this holds Seven, 35 K-cups. And why I really liked this one is that it's an expandable one. So I can still store, which I need to, like a lot of other random things I like to keep in that cabinet and it all looks very unified. So now I gotta put it back together. This one happened to be a perfect fit. And I'm going to be setting this up here later today. Very excited about it. So I think that's a lot of like the random stuff out of the way. <laughs> Two things left from Amazon. I've talked about this many times before. You're probably sick of me saying it, but I just needed more books for styling shelves. I have a lot of smaller books, which seem to work really well in our other house, but this house, I just need larger ones so it doesn't look so cluttered. So I'm slowly building up my book collection. This book has been in my Save for Later for months. I almost bought it for Christmas, but I'm like, no, let's wait. Well, finally, I think after I decorated these shelves for winter, I'm like, buy the book, Crystal. I will have it displayed for many years. It's expensive. It's not one I wanted to buy. That's why it sat in my cart forever. but I just went for it and I'm so glad I did because this thing is huge and it is exactly what I want all my other books on the shelves to be. But this is the um, Architectural Digest giant book at 100, a century of style. So it's just very neutral book, which is great. So I can literally use it all year long and I can move it around the house as well to just different tables or shelves. This is a nice, big, versatile book. I'm like paging through it like you can see, but it's just a really pretty book to look at. This would also be a very nice coffee table book, but like I said, this was not a cheap book, which is why it's taken me so long to buy it. But if you go on Amazon and start searching coffee table books, this one always would pop up for me, and I finally went for it. It's actually really heavy, so I need to put it down though. And I did order one other book, which this one, I kind of laugh because some of you are gonna be like, Crystal, you need color. But that's okay, that's okay. I still just, I just love the book. I think it's really pretty, but it is For the Love of White, the white and neutral home. Great for styling, again, it's nice and neutral, which is what I look for in books for my shelves. This one is really pretty. And right now we do live in a white and very neutral home, so it definitely applies. I'm actually looking forward to paging through this to get some just various ideas and things like that. So it's really pretty. There it is. Let's see what, if I take the sleeve off. I haven't even done that. This one was definitely more affordable than the other one. Yeah, it's a really pretty book. It has like that white canvasy look to it. There you go. Perfect. These two actually go together really nicely. 
Now it wasn't too long ago I did a vlog where I shared a bunch of Target decor that I had bought out of the spring collection and I loved the tree that I shared in that video and so many of you did as well but I went back to see what other options Hearth and Hand had. Well I found this one. This is called I think a variated ficus tree so it's a little bit different and it's super unique compared to some of my other faux plants or trees that I have around the house because it has like that white detail to the leaves. It's a really pretty tree. Does it say 55 inches tall? So it's shorter than the other one for sure. But if I see like faux trees or plants like this that I like, I've been picking them up because they just bring so much life to a lot of the spaces. And we have a lot of like corners and areas where I can put these. So I picked up this one it goes in and out of stock. It's really pretty though. It's, I don't know how to describe it. It's just, it's kind of just dainty looking and if that makes sense, I have no idea. But yes, I just, I love real plants, but I also have joy in the ones that will stay alive for me. So yeah, this one also has the white, can I do this gracefully? It has a nice, beautiful white pot on the bottom. So you don't need to find a basket or anything to put in it. It looks, or put it in, it looks great on its own, just like this. Speaking of faux florals, I guess, I wanted to give a mention to these. I've already shared a bunch of other ones that I've been loving, but this is my first time sharing these. So I have a lot of larger planters that I need longer stems for, and I came across these seeded eucalyptus ones. They are beautiful. The green color, the leaves are nice and big, and the stems are 36 inches, so they're nice and long for a lot of those larger vases and pots. So, so pretty. I kind of want to get a few more of these. I might end up doing that. I think I bought three, four. I bought four to start. But yeah, I just have so many different planters and areas where I can add pops of greenery around the house. So I grabbed these. Super, super nice. The color is just so pretty. Oh my gosh. That's like my favorite part, I think. Hearth and Hand. Wildflower Bundle. They just had the best florals, in my opinion, this spring. Usually I am drawn to the threshold ones, but I wasn't this year. I'm all about the Hearth and Hand. So this is just a wildflower bundle. It's already like wrapped in twine. There you go. I'm not huge into flowers. I much prefer greenery but I do really like these. I love pops of purple during the spring and it's already, I mean, it's put together. You just need to pop it in a vase and you're good to go. So yeah, grabbed a bundle of the wildflowers. And then while I did that, I found this beautiful vase. Is it a vase? Yeah, it's a vase from Studio McGee that I think these will work perfectly in. I love the Studio Mickey vases that come out every single year. So this one just has a really unique texture and shape to it. Really great shelf decor. Let me see if I can bend these and pop them in. It's kind of hard. Isn't that kind of cute? I do like that. Yeah, I mean, on like our island and our kitchen, these would be pretty. It's not like an overly huge arrangement by any means. So entryway table, this would also be really cute on. Just a few more things, I promise. Now, these are also Studio, actually, all of the remaining items from Target are Studio McGee. Now, I picked up or ordered the set of four noodle bowls. Love, again, the texture of these bowls. It's almost like it looks like a woven basket design. I just love it. I love it so much. And these are just a nice, slim little bowl. I originally bought these to go in my hutch, but when they arrived, I'm like, I kind of want to like eat out of these. They're that pretty. And they're just a really unique size. Perfect for, of course, noodles or pasta, but I'm also thinking salads. These are like amazing for that. So it's a set of four, but so black cabinet, put them in there. Also on my shelves by like my coffee station, these would also be really cute. So I've been trying to look for larger items for those areas in our kitchen, but we will also be eating off of these as well because they're amazing. And I think they do have plates and uh, other bowls or things that coordinate with it, but I'm trying to restrain myself because we don't need that. But these, I felt like we did need them. 
So I actually ordered two cutting boards from the Studio McGee line, but I returned one because it was giant and it just looked ridiculous on our countertops. I just didn't see myself using it for what I paid for it, so I did return that one, but I did keep this one. I'll link the big one just in case you're looking for a couple of larger ones. But I did pick up this, it's called an angled surfboard, which is kind of unique, right? So just a different detail to layer cutting boards on our counters. And I like the color of this wood too. It's really pretty. It's not like super dark, but it's not really light either. It's a good, like, I don't know. It's just a good basic cutting board, but that detail gets me there. I love that. Now the last item from Target, I'm actually going back and forth if I should return it or not. Um, I love, let me just show it to you first. It's my color, it's green. I love the green. So this is a set of two wall art framed pieces. And it's just the flowers. I mean, it's really pretty. It really is. It has like a beige on the outside and then the wood frame, so, so pretty. I was actually thinking of a few places for these, but in my office, they would look really pretty on like the black part of the wall. But if there's only two and I kind of wish that it was a set of three because it would fill the wall a little bit better in here. So I'm going back and forth, which is why it's still in the packaging if I want to keep these or not. So yeah, what do we think of these? These would also look nice, like just like leaning on shelves. So I'm really, I don't know. I'm not sure on these. They're so pretty though. So if you're looking for a set of two like floral print, blah, 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 two floral prints, these are so nice. So now my words are all like blah 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 so i better wrap up this whole video right here i am waiting on my ruggable to get here so i will show that before i end this video though it's a newer print i actually tried to find photos online of it in real life but i could not uh, but yeah, it's a bigger rug for entryway. Our entryway is something I'm going to be focusing on here in the next couple of months. I really just want to um, make a better first impression right when you walk into our home. And I know I can do better than what I've done so far. So kind of starting over again, I'll keep the table, but I need like a bigger rug. I'm going to do some stuff on the walls and stuff like that. So anyways, I'm starting with the rug and then we'll build off of that, I guess. The new rug is here. You might even be able to hear the FedEx man driving away. <laughs> Still, I couldn't get in here fast enough. I'm so excited to open this. So this is a five by seven. It's much bigger. This is a three by five, I wanna say. And so, yeah, we're gonna open it up. The good thing about this size rug is that I also have the same size in my office. So it's versatile and I can switch things up. So I'm hoping I like it. Oh my gosh, I'm always nervous about these things. I haven't opened it all the way, but you can see the difference between the two. It's still more of a darker tone, but it has a little bit more color in it. I'm kind of liking it. I actually think I love it. Oh my gosh, let's get it opened. Okay, friends, when you know, you know, and I love this rug, and I'm usually like so indecisive, it's gorgeous. So this is the Rowan stone and clay it's part of the founders collection i have no idea they have other colors available but i love this one i'm tempted to buy another one in a different size for somewhere else in our house i love it that much but my goodness it just pulls the wood tones together from the table and the bench and it makes the entryway feel larger the other one i i loved that rug but this one just fits the space a lot better. And we need to do dark rugs here at the front door because dirty shoes when we live kind of out in the middle of nowhere, you know, who knows what's getting tracked in. So I love this rug, oh my gosh. So there's some blues in it. There's some, that clayish color, so pretty. So that's going to be it for today's home haul. Thumbs up as always if you enjoyed it. So, so random, I know, but all things that I am super excited to have and get working on around the house. So anyways, thanks for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.